over here. Here you are. <laughs> Our teacher asked me to give you this and ask you to help us to... Um... What was it? To evaluate the mock exam of Zena's enrollment procedure. So I came here <sighs> as quickly as possible. Well, turns out the moment I saw you, the thing just slipped my mind. <laughs> I'm overexcited. All right, I got it. I'll head back then. It's a great pleasure to see you today, Miss Lilia. Woohoo! <laughs> Go for it. Why go for it, me? Do I look like a stagiaire to her? Nevajna. Let me check. Elevation. 2,500 feet. Mountainous terrain. Dense forest area. Good atmospheric visibility. Enemies. Groups of ground-based food creatures and airborne Elitio species 04. If we were to engage the enemy in this dense forest and fight in close range, our mobility will be largely reduced and we can't borrow roll to dodge attacks from the ground. But if we pull up and deal with the Air Force first... Hmm, <laughs> close enough. Ready to fight. Moment, 
Take the offensive. Target locked. I will pray for you. Sorry. That's it. Skuchny. What kind of new recruits they will let in by giving out such a simple exam? Are you evaluating the battlefield mock exam for this year? I heard Zeno has updated their question bank. No, just killing time. Hmm. <gasps> I smelled bison grass. Huh? In your canteen. Ha, huh, right. Authentic Zubrovka. One of the few pastimes I have here. Wanna have a sip? No, thank you. It smells fresh. Tender. Like thyme and lavender in spring. I believe it is precious. You can smell things. Fresh indeed. Made in 1929. I'll say it's already about, uh... Forget it. I don't do maths. So, you're here for Vertin too? I'm showing her around the foundation and decided to drop by the rehab center. Does she dream? Sometimes. Let me show you somewhere else. Have a good taste, Bellwether. Never tried the vodka from 1929 before. <sighs> good for you to get this in the US, when both alcohol and Kumarin were banned. The thing you said about take care of them for me when necessary, I'll consider it. Raise a glass, Padruga. To your health, your soon recovery. To our better lives. To this unknown date. To this messed up time. Zazdarovye. You have a basic idea of this place now. I'll walk you to your room. Is there anything else you want to know? What do I have to do so you will release Burton? <laughs> it depends on what you hope to achieve. Depends on us. Is that what you said? Burton, the person we rely on, is being hypnotized in the rehab center. That suitcase, the world we inhabit, has been taken away for research purposes. It's as if the whole thing was manipulated to leave us high and dry and isolated, 
so that you would have something on us. We do not have a choice, Madame Z. However, if we change the condition, that something they have can turn the negotiation around and in your favor. I... I do not understand what you mean. Before she went to the rehab center, Burton asked me about which department you would be in. And we have worked out a feasible proposal. <gasps> but a catalyst is what we need at prison. The quiet, mild, and tranquil status quo makes the change seem unnecessary. A proper gust of wind will vitalize the wave of change and push it to the cusp of revolution. You mean... But it is risky. That's true. I cannot give you any promises. But a fixed pattern of management will only impede the development of everyone. I hold the same idea as Verdant's in this case. Or there is another path in front of you. Sign your name and become an official member of the Foundation. A path that many arcanists who cannot support themselves yearn for. So, you are not inducing me to join the Foundation? I'm here to show you around. My senior asked me to make sure that you had a comforting tour. I hope this tour is helpful for you. <laughs> <laughs>